If you want to learn how to make amazing product visualization animations like these inside of Unreal Engine 5, then this course is going to be perfect for you. Because in this course, we're going to be learning the basics of product animations inside of Unreal Engine 5. And we're going to be covering the whole workflow, including importing the models in Unreal Engine 5, texturing the models, lighting the whole scene, creating a whole studio environment around the scene, and then finally animating, rendering, and color grading inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, this course is going to be perfect for all those who want to understand the workflow of a professional 3D artist and take their product visualization game to the next level. And not only you will learn the whole workflow you will also have two realistic animations uh, by the end of this course to maybe add to your portfolio or post on social media so if you want to take your unreal engine 5 product visualization game to the next level then this course is perfect for you enroll now and i will see you in class right so we're about to make this airpods animation so i'm just going to play the animation um and let's see so yeah we're going to do uh we're going to import the models from uh from the internet inside of unreal engine 5 then we're going to be animating the models we're going to be animating the camera uh, we're going to do the lighting, uh, the texturing, and everything inside of Unreal Engine 5. The only thing that we have not done is that we have not created the models. And obviously, we're going to use pre-made textures. And we're going to do all this animation uh, by ourselves, hopefully. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to sort of compile this, uh, compile um, all the animations into one commercial. And I'm going to show you how to add the text and everything inside of DaVinci Resolve. And that ending text as well this one i'm going to show you how to do all this inside of davinci resolve however obviously you can use other editing softwares as well uh so let's go ahead and open Unreal engine 5 but before that i'm just going to open blender uh so that uh, and if you don't have blender you can simply use any other 3d modeling software uh i would recommend you to do this because firstly we're going to be importing the model uh inside of blender 3d right so let's first go ahead and open chrome and let's search for the 3d model so i'm going to open chrome yeah i'm going to search airpods 3D model and I like to use Sketchfab usually because Sketchfab I think is a really good website and the, you can use any other ones as well and obviously you're going to find free models and uh, paid models as well so you can just choose for yourself um, I think I'm going to be using this one right here so I used this uh, model and this is free you're going to see that we have a lot of paid options as well so you can just choose whichever one you want and I'm just going to open this you're going to see that the model is pretty high quality and it's pretty detailed. So that's perfect for us. And yeah. Right. So let's uh, just download this model and I'm going to click download model, download 3D model right here. And you're going to see that there is no FBX or dot blend file. Usually I like to prefer, I, I prefer to download um, dot FBX or dot blend because that's easier to open inside of blender 3d however i found that gitf files can also be simply opened inside of blender 3d you can't uh, you can't basically open usdz files inside of blender by default i think you're going to need an add-on for that but gitf find gitf files work perfectly fine so i'm just going to download this and you might have to create an account but i'm not sure uh but yeah if it just asks you to do that then just create an account anyway so just open this and now we're going to see that we have the scene.gitf file and a scene.bin file. We're not going to be using the textures. Uh, I would I would recommend you to just keep this folder saved uh, because we might need to use them, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to use them. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to be creating our own textures, uh, using textures inside of Unreal Engine 5. We're not going to be using these ones, right? So I'm just going to be dragging this on my desktop. And I already do have those two files. So these right here, let me just open my folder. And let's right click and create a new folder here. I'm going to call this model. And I'm going to be dragging these two files right there. Right, perfect. So now we can just go ahead and open this inside of Blender 3D. So I'm just going to open Blender, File, Import, and then I'm going to click GITF 2.0. And then you can just browse over to wherever you have that saved. Um, I think mine was somewhere here. AirPods, anim model, and right here, scene.gitf, just import. And then you're going to see, if I just zoom in a little bit, you're going to see that the model is perfectly imported inside of our scene, right? So one thing which you, one thing you want to make sure before exporting this as FBX uh, is that you want to click this button right here, this drop down button right here, and then click face orientation and make sure that all, uh, what do you call it? All the faces in your scene, in your model are blue. If something, for example, is red, for example, if I just uh, make this red real quick, 
you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this for a demonstration. For example, something is like this. Then what you want to do is you want to select that object. You want to press tab, press A to select everything because uh, but by default, everything is selected. Uh, and then, then I'm going to go to mesh, then normals, and then flip, right? So that's what that's going to do is that it's going to flip the normals. Now, this is especially uh, important if you are working with gloss or something like that. Uh, so that's very important. Uh, you can do this in Unreal Engine 5 as well, but that process is slightly complicated. Uh, so I would recommend you to just do this inside of Blender. One other thing which I'm going to be doing is that let me just get out of my face orientation mode. One other thing which I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be right. So I think we are pretty much good to go. Just inspect the model, make sure everything is fine, make sure the shading and everything is fine. And now we can just click File, Export, and then FBX. FBX files work perfectly uh, perfect for Unreal Engine. So I'm just going to Call this model and export FBX. Now we can just go ahead and open Unreal Engine 5. You can go ahead and close Blender, but I'm just going to leave it open. Right, so now you can just go to Games and create a blank project. Make sure ray tracing is turned on if you have an RTX, an NVIDIA RTX graphic card. If you don't have that, then that's perfectly fine as well. But do note that your animation will look slightly better if you have ray tracing turned on. Uh, just name your project whatever you want and then just create your project. Now, I'm not going to be creating a new project. I'm just going to be using uh, a recent one because I already do have all the textures and everything imported in that. So I'm just going to be using that. Uh, just wait for Unreal Engine 5 to open and I will see when it opens. Right. So once Unreal Engine 5 opens, uh, actually, I'm going to be showing you the air actual AirPods scene first, and then we're going to be creating our own. Uh, so this is the AirPods level. And you're going to see that this is the whole scene. So you're going to see that it looks pretty realistic. The materials are pretty shiny and pretty reflective, which is which makes it look very realistic. And that's the lighting setup. I'm going to come to lighting in just a bit. So that's basically the whole lighting setup. We have, I think, five lights in our scene. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to go over the whole lighting process in a bit. But first, let's just import that. Let, let's just import the model. Right. And so for that, what I'm going to do is that firstly, I'm going to go to file new level, and then I'm going to be creating a new empty level. Uh, you can just go with any one of these, but I'm, I, I usually prefer to start from scratch, right? Uh, with this level open, I'm just going to press Control S before anything else so that we can just save the level. And I'm just going to call this um, AirPods U. All right. Um, so once you are in your scene, uh, what, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to Window and I'm going to go to Environment Light Mixer. And then we're just going to be creating a basic lighting setup by creating uh, by clicking all these buttons. And the reason why I'm doing this, obviously, we're going to get rid of everything. <laughs> we don't actually want clouds or anything like that uh, in our scene. However, uh, for the basic lighting setup and for adding the materials, I think this lighting setup works better than uh, creating your own manual lights. Uh, so I'm going to be using this. One thing which I'm going to do is that I'm going to be clicking the skylight, uh, the skylight zero, and I'm going to be clicking uh, going down to real time capture. And I'm just going to turn that on because that's going to make our shadows look a little more realistic. Right. Uh, so then you can just go ahead and import your what do you call it? Your AirPods. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click content, the content folder, and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call this AirPods U. I already do have the AirPods imported in this folder. However, I'm going to be importing them once again to show you guys. And so now you can just go back to your folder where you exported your model. And here it is. You can just drag that FBX model inside of the Unreal Engine 5 folder. And then just make sure that the settings are default. Everything default works fine. Click import all and we are good to go. Just get rid of these, uh, just uh, ignore these errors. And now you're going to see that we have all the individual parts exported, or sorry, imported inside of Unreal Engine 5, right? So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to be selecting the first file and the first um, mesh. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select the last mesh, but I'm going to press shift and then select the last mesh so that everything else is selected. We don't want to select the materials. We just want to select the meshes. And then we can just drag them inside of our scene like that. I'm just going to move them up and just move it closer to the camera, something like that. Um, maybe move it right there, move it slightly down, and I think we're good to go. Right, so, and I'm also going to be scaling it up. So your scale doesn't really matter that much in this, uh, in this specific scenario, because obviously there's going to, there's not going to be anything, uh, like we don't want, we don't, we're not going for that realistic look. We're going for that studio look and scale doesn't really matter in that, right? So you're going to see that our AirPods are looking pretty decent. Um, and now we, we're going to start working on the textures.